Okay, so we're looking at how to solve this, this question. We've already done part of it. Um, and it's going to be it's x squared plus 5x minus 13 is greater than 1. So the first thing that you do with a, with a quadratic inequality is you want to get it so that it's looking a little bit more like a quadratic. In other words, we want a 0 on one side. So we, we took away 1 from both sides, and we end up with this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to factorize it the way we would factorize a regular quadratic. And um, so we're looking for two numbers that add to give the to b to give, add to give b and times to give c, or in this case, add to give five and times to give negative fourteen. So we realised that was seven and negative two, add to give five, and the same two numbers times to give negative fourteen. <clears throat> So they go into here. So this is the same equation factorized. Now, if this was a regular quadratic, then we would say, and we would say that x is equal to either negative seven or two. And so in other words, when this is equal to zero, then x is going to equal to negative seven or two. So if I plotted the graph y is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 14, then when y equals 0, I have the equation here. In other words, I'm going to have an intersect at x equals negative 7, and I'm going to have an intercept at uh, x equals 2. In fact, I could write those as coordinates, couldn't I? Because they, we know what the y value is going to be. The y value is going to be 0. So it'd probably be a bit better to do that. So this coordinate is going to be uh, negative 7 and 0. And this coordinate is going to be um, 2 and 0. Because that's where the graph would intercept the, y, the x axis, sorry, because that's where y would be 0. I'm going to move this, these coordinates just a little bit out of the way because I want to draw my graph and it's going to get in the way. Now <clears throat> we've got a um, we've got a neg we've got a positive x squared, so we know that the it's going to go down like this. I don't I've I've missed it. Haven't I? I'm going to do that again because it's messy. Try to get it just right. Now, I'm not making any claims about the minimum point. My, mine seems to be suggesting the minimum point is around about here. We're not worried about the minimum point for this question. So my, the graph is inaccurate in terms of where the minimum point is. But that is um, the graph of uh, y is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 14, just with respect to where the, uh, where the x intercepts are. Um, in actual fact, I could say that if we're going to revise quadratics, that that intercept is going to be negative 14. Because when x equals 0, y would be equal to negative 14. But we don't need to know that for this question anyway. What we do need, what we do need to now know is that we're saying that all of this is greater than 0. So when is all of this greater than 0? OK, not that. Let's delete that. Oops. Let's delete that. So at what point is this line less than 0? Well, it's less than 0 um, be, um, between these two points. It goes below the, the y-axis between those two points. So, so, the, so basically, it's, basically, we can say that um, x, and because it's between two points, we can do a combined inequality x is greater than negative 7 or equal to negative 7. Um, and it's less than or equal to uh, negative, oh, not negative, 2. Okay. That's, how you would, that's how you would do a standard inequality. So again, those stages, uh, we would rearrange it so that it looks like a, a regular quadratic. We would then factorise it. We'd use the factorizing to work out what the quadratic would look like if I plotted it on a regular graph. Y is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 14. And 
Um, the in, the x-intercepts would be the negatives of whatever these are, the way we would normally solve the equation. And then we're saying, uh, then we have to look at this sign here, and we're saying, well, what are we? We're saying it's in this case, we're saying less than zero. So it's going to be. So remember this this red line that I've drawn is equal is basically that we're saying y is equal to that. Okay. So y is when is y less than y when is y less than zero? Y is le less than zero between uh, these two points. Then it goes below that below that graph so we can see by coloring in that that that's the range at which this equation is less than zero okay all right so we'll have a go at another question and i'll uh, we'll see how we do and i'll make another video if we get stuck